Valency is the number of bonds that an element can form when forming a compound. So it's a very important concept to understand, especially when talking about bonding, which then leads to how we form compounds and molecules. So in order to understand valency, we need to understand that all elements bond with each other in order to become more stable. And the idea of becoming more stable means having a full valence shell. So we can determine the valency of various elements by looking at the number of electrons in their valence shell and then how many bonds they can form based on that number of electrons. So we're going to start by looking at elements that are in the first group of the periodic table and we're going to look at hydrogen as an example. We know that hydrogen has one valence electron, meaning one electron in its valence shell. So we would say that hydrogen is able to form only one bond by giving that electron away, which is why we will often write that hydrogen has a valency of plus one. The positive is not important at the moment, but essentially what it says is that it's given away a negatively charged electron, which makes it positively charged. Similarly, we would look at elements that are in group two of the periodic table, for example here, beryllium, and we know that beryllium has two valence electrons, so in order to form bonds, it would give those two electrons away and therefore have a valency of plus two. If we then look at elements in group 13, or major group three, of the periodic table, for example, boron, we would say that boron has three valence electrons, and in order to form a bond with something, it is able to give away those three electrons and therefore would have a valency of positive three. And then the same goes for elements in group four of the periodic table. They have four valence electrons. Now, elements in group four can technically either gain or lose four electrons in order to obtain a full valence shell. So we often would say that it has a charge or a valency of either plus or minus four, but either way that valency number is four. Elements in group five of the periodic table, for example, nitrogen, have five valence electrons. And so for nitrogen, it is far easier to gain three electrons than to lose the five electrons. So we say that it has a valency of three and specifically, since it has gained three negative charges, we say it has a valency of negative three. We can then look at elements in group 16 or group six of the periodic table, for example, oxygen. We know that oxygen has six valence electrons and therefore only needs two valence electrons in order to have a full valence shell, which would mean that if it gains two electrons, it gains a charge of negative two and therefore has a valency of negative two. Elements in group 17 or group 7 of the periodic table have seven valence electrons and therefore would only need to gain one electron in order to obtain a full valence shell and therefore they have a charge of negative one which is their valency as well. We know that the noble gases already have full valence shells and therefore do not form bonds with each other and therefore we say that they have a valency of zero. This is the way to determine what an element's valency is. Obviously it is also possible to just write these numbers down on your periodic table and that shows that elements in group 1 have a valency of 1, elements in group 2 have a valency of 2, 13 have a valency of 3, group 14 have a valency of 4, 15 have a valency of 3, 16 have a valency of 2 and 17 have a valency of 1. Once again the positive and negative signs in front of these are not important because the valency is simply how many bonds an element can form.